we are going to fall. Hey guys! Say hey. Hey, hey. Happy Monday, guys. Happy Monday. <clears throat> Coming live to you from my living room floor. We are on the second cup of coffee today. Because sometimes you just need that extra oomph in the afternoon, right? I am forever and always by like two or three o'clock. I'm like, I need some freaking caffeine. And thankfully, a coffee maker is wonderful. So, oh Lord, Lisa, I'm glad you're on my level. I'm like at the end of this, this coffee. Can you say hi? Miss Torella said hi. Yeah, oh. Say hey. No? Okay, he is team no nap this afternoon. He is too busy all the time. Um, but I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It is absolutely gorgeous in Wilmington, Leland area. Um, I always forget that I'm not in Wilmington. But anyways, it's beautiful here. So if you guys are on the East Coast or in North Carolina, I hope you're enjoying the wonderful vitamin D that we had because it was like fall weather this morning and then boom summertime so um i wanted to come on here and just chat with you guys okay uh oh okay his new thing is to stand on the chair and let go and fall backwards yeah you can't do that so if y'all see me freak out it's because he's falling um I wanted to come on here and I wanted to just kind of chat with you guys because there is so much you can accomplish in this world and in this life if you just get out of your own damn way, okay? You are, I'm trying to see if I can put my phone anywhere. You are the only person who is standing in the way of you and your dreams, okay? And you guys might be like, Amber, mm -hmm, that sounds all fun and, fun and dandy. But listen to me, I'm for real. I'm sorry if I'm giving you guys like whiplash. I'm literally trying to figure out where I'm gonna put my phone. Um, you are the only person who is standing between yourself and the goals that you have you have written down, you have claimed for yourself for this month, okay? It is the fifth of the month. We are in a brand new month. We have a brand new part of our Summer incentive that has started, and there is so much crazy goodness going on, okay? I'm not going to call anybody out, but there has been a lot of, a lot of ch chitter chatter um, in Feet to Faith <clears throat> about people not being able to get sales, or people saying that nobody wants anything, and what I want you guys to do, I want you to stop with that. Because that's just not true. It's just not true that people don't want to buy Scentsy, okay? I want you guys to instead take a step back and I want you to evaluate and assess how it is that you're talking about Scentsy. How are you sharing Scentsy on a daily basis? Are you partying? If people are ignoring you and saying no, how are you asking people? Are you asking the same people over and over and over again? Or are you partying consistently, asking for referrals consistently, and always expanding your customer base so that you have extra people to talk to? Your customer base right now, gosh, this lighting in here, I never do lives in here. Sorry guys, this lighting is just weird. The customer base that you have is your customer base, okay? They are your customers. They are going to support you if they love you as a person. If they love you as a consultant because you take care of them, okay? Truthfully, people are not buying from you because they just love Cincy that much. If they do, they're joining your team, okay? If they do love Cincy that much, they are joining your team. And they're going to be their own boss. 
But the people who buy from you are buying from you because they love you. They know, love, and trust you. They trust you in picking out their scents. They trust you um, when you share different products and say that it's, it's amazing and that they would really, really like it. They trust you if they're referring you, not Scentsy, they're referring you as a possible consultant for someone that they know, okay? So in this business, it's all a people relationship building business. We are in the business of communicating and we are in the business of building relationships, okay? So uh, oftentimes we can get stuck, right? We can say, nobody wants to buy or, you know, my sales suck, I'm still at zero PRV. Guys, it's only the fifth of the month. It is only, <laughs> I look like Snooky over here. Hey, did y'all used to do that? The poof, oh my gosh, hold on. I'm getting sidetracked. Like this, I used to tease the mess out of my hair. <laughs> That's so terrible. Oh my God, I'm so glad that that is not a thing anymore. Okay, much better, much, much better. <laughs> Welcome to Amber going stir crazy in her living room with Zane. Um, People have to know, love, and trust you, okay? You have to, uh-oh, I don't know what I just did. Can you guys hear me fine? Okay. So, people, people, people. You are building relationships with people. This is not a numbers game. This is not a let me get a sale for now and not take care of those customers game because if you do that those aren't going to stay your customers are you fostering those relationships are you expanding your network through those people because those people know love and trust you and they are being hosts and therefore they are offering the opportunity of sensi products through you to their friends family coworkers. okay I understand it gets frustrating and it gets challenging when you get ignored or you get told no, okay? What you have to do when that happens, you have to pivot and you have to think, why are you being ignored, okay? I have a VIP text group that I do through um, Hit em Up, the Hit em Up app. And when I text those people, I think there's 55 people in that group. When I text those people, if I could tell you the amount of people that ignore me through that, but also at the same time, the next time I text them say, I am so sorry, I did not respond the last couple of times. Thank you so much for always keeping me in the loop. Guys, today, I did a random text saying, happy Monday, I hope you have a fantastic day with a sun emoji, and I did like a cute graphic saying you are amazing or something like that I found on Facebook. Don't just make it about Cincy. Do not just make it about Scentsy because when you just make it about Scentsy, people are thinking that you are just seeing them as a number. You're just seeing them as a sale and you're just seeing them as somebody to help you with your life and you're not worried about them. Do you know about your customers? Do you know what they're going through? Are you keeping up with them on Facebook? Guys, Facebook, I understand, is frustrating. I understand that social media is frustrating, but listen to me. Social media is free marketing and it is how you are going to build relationships with your customers believe it or not if there's the amount of times that um people tell me i don't like social media blah 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 are you using it to your advantage you need to use it to your advantage that is why i add my customers say hi i add my customers to my vip page i add them on facebook if they have instagram i add them on instagram because I don't just post about Scentsy. I do post a lot about Scentsy because I know they're watching. However, I post about my life. If you guys knew the amount of people who see Anthony or Zane in the store in Leland or in Wilmington and they say hey to him and he has no clue who they are, you guys would, you wouldn't believe me. You wouldn't believe me. How in the world do people know about that? Because I share my life. I share my life on there. And they're connected to me because they see the nitty gritty behind the, behind the scenes. I share him playing. 
I share Bailey being annoyed with him. Okay, I did a post this morning of them too. I share my personal life so they can connect with me. They have a way to connect with me when I give them the ability to connect with me. I am not just a Cincy consultant. Yes, it pays my bills. Yes, it got me away from teaching. Yes, it is the whole, whole reason I'm able to do what I love every single day and stay home with my baby boy who is a year old. It is the only reason I am able to live the life that I live. Cincy is the only reason. I love Cincy. I love what this company stands for. I love our products. And I will defend them till the day that I die. This company has changed my life. But I'm more than just Sensi. Sensi is a, a a way that I am able to live the life that I have. But am I? I am a mom. I am a dog mom. I'm a wife. I love tequila. I love plants. I love the beach. I love the sun. I love to travel for free with Sensi. I share that stuff because I want to connect with them. So what I want you guys to do the next time you're getting frustrated or you're like, you know. I can't get sales, I can't do this, I can't do that. I want you to take a step back and I want you to evaluate how you're going about it. If you're posting and praying, that's not the way. What you see, if you're friends with me on social media, I do share stuff in my stories. I share stuff on my, um, my grid on Instagram. I share stuff on my timeline on Facebook, but that's not all I'm doing. If you guys saw the behind the scenes work of the stuff that I do, well, I share a lot of it with you guys. The behind the scenes work is what is going to change your business. The behind the scenes work is where the magic happens. The only magic sauce in this business is consistency. There is nothing that I have magical about me. And I want to be snooky here in 2023. There's nothing magical. I'm consistent in the right things. So what I want you guys to do instead of, you know, looking at, I've, guys, I've been a consultant for seven years. April 2016 is when I joined. I have been a consultant for over seven years now. It's not any easier because what has happened is I have recruited a lot of my customers throughout the years. There are people who joined my team also who just didn't want to do it anymore. It's just, it's the name of the game. That's how it goes with sales. This is not something that is going to be for everybody. Okay. It, this company is everything and more that you could want it to be. I've seen it firsthand, it's changed my life, but it's not for everybody. Sales are not for everybody. But if you are in it to, you're in it to win it, you're in this thing and you're like, I'm buckling up, we're freaking going, you gotta be consistent. You have to be consistent because what happens, listen to me, what happens when you are not consistent in this business? There's two things that happen. Number one, your customers are not going to take you seriously because they do not see you taking your own business seriously. That might hurt some feelings. But if you are not taking your business seriously, if you are not being the best business owner, you are a business owner, you get a 1099 tax form. This is real deal money, guys. Real deal money. It got me away from teaching full time. Walked away from teaching college degree for teaching, to sell wax and warmers, fragrance. If you're not taking your business seriously and you're not sharing the blessings and the products and all of that authentically you and consistently on all levels thing, meaning you're showing up behind the scenes. You're showing up when you don't want to show up. You're showing up on social media when you have pimples on your face, hello, one, two, I don't even know what's going on right now. You're showing up with no makeup on. You're showing up whenever your baby has drooled all over you. You're showing up anyways. People are going to take you seriously. But if you're only posting once a month, and that's at the beginning of the month when you're all hype and on fire because it's a brand new month, nobody's going to take you seriously. Do you take yourself seriously if you do that? I don't take anybody seriously. If they, they only like post flyers. If I'm looking for somebody to, I'm not talking about sensing people. I can tell, you just can pull my hair out. I can tell the difference. You can tell them? Okay. Okay. I can tell the difference between somebody who takes their business seriously or somebody who is just doing it because they feel like they have to do it. 
If I was to look at your page right now, that's what I want you to ask yourself. If I was to look at your page right now, can I tell that you do Scentsy? Did you share about Otis the Orangutan that came out today? Have you shared about a host exclusive um, promotion that we have going on right now? Are you sharing the mess out of trying to get 100, 100 wax bars sold in 25 pods? We have a huge incentive going right now. Challenge yourself. Are you sharing your progress with your customers? I'm going to call her out because I know she's watching. Y'all, Barb Robertson, one of our close family friends, but she helps me out a lot with watching Zane so I can do my business. She was over on Saturday and Zane was napping and I said, okay, what I want you to do right now, was it Saturday? I don't even know, Barb. I don't even know. Friday? Whatever day it was. What I want you to do right now, I want you to do follow-ups with customers. Do you have the images saved on your phone? Yes, she had them printed off. I said, I want you following up with customers right now, and I want you texting to, you can't text no more, and I want you getting six packs sold. Do a 10-bar special if you need to. Sell some pods. You're only doing three packs and six packs of pods. Barb, comment how many you've sold. Are you talking to your customers? Are you personally talking to your customers? Are you letting them know the goals that you're trying to reach? Did you guys watch the video I did the other day? Uh, I didn't do, sorry, that I shared Stacey Behringer. She shared those beautiful graphics. Those are the graphics that I use to keep my customers up to date, to post to my VIP page, to text my customers personally one-on-one. -on -one. I was doing a lot of behind the scenes work, guys. I was on my phone nonstop. I did a 10 bar special. I got seven spots for that. And then I was crossing off pods as needed. I was pulling the report that I shared with you guys on Workstation. It's not hard, but it does take consistency and it does take work. It takes time. You're not just going to post and sell 100 bars of wax and 25 pots. That's not how it happens. It happens because you've, exp you've given your customers the experience of expanding their product use behind or beyond wax and warmers. If people don't use pods right now, guys, let me tell you guys what I did. Well, besides pulling the report, besides pulling the report, I went to my car. I don't even know. Friday night, I think it was when Zane went to sleep. I went into my car. Um, I took a picture of my mini fan diffuser, several different pictures. I took a picture of my wall fan. I took a picture with some pods that I had um, going into an order that I was packaging up, I took pictures, I shared the mess out of my VIP page, and then I started texting people, I put it in my story. Do not overcomplicate this. Do not overcomplicate it. Since he gives us literally everything we need on a platter, are you guys using our products? If you're using our products, you have pictures at, at your fingertips. Take pictures of you with the product. Do a video. Barb over here, she literally went to my wall fan diffuser that's right over there near my, um, the door over there. Took a video explaining what a wall fan diffuser is. She sold one of those in a six pack of pods. It's not hard. But are you sharing in a way that would catch your attention? Are you sharing authentically? Are you sharing that type of stuff in your VIP page? If you don't have a VIP page on Facebook, I highly recommend you get one. My people know, my people know that I post sample give, giveaways in my VIP page. My people know that I do things behind the scenes in my VIP page because I'm consistent with it. I got a lot more consistent a couple months ago. I post every single day a couple of times now. Are you doing the things necessary to be successful in this business? I want you guys to ask yourself that. Because believe it or not, I don't just post and pray. I don't just post on social media. I am successful in this business and I have been successful in this business for over seven years now because I do the behind the scenes work. Because I do the things that nobody else does to be successful. And those other people who do do the same things as me are successful because they do the behind the scenes work. Okay? So... Get out of your own way. Stop with the excuses. Stop saying that you can't reach this. It's only the fifth of the month. It's the fifth of the month. Are you okay? We have so much time. Do not compare your 
chapter one to my chapter seven, okay? But anybody can accomplish this. Anybody can work parties. Anybody can do those things, and I'm gonna tell you how I know this is true. I'm not a salesperson. I'm not a salesperson. But I've been successful in this business because I believe in our products, I believe in myself, and I have seen firsthand this business change people's lives, and I decided for myself I'm going to do the same thing. I buckled up, and I, I, I went. I moved. I said, I'm not just going to sit and watch. I'm going to do this too. So whenever I see my, my friends and colleagues in this business, you know, recruiting machines, if I can't figure out how to do it, I text them, I message them, or I go on YouTube and I figure out how to do it. If something I'm doing is not working, I go on YouTube and I try to figure out a way to make it work. Okay? It's about pivoting. It's about doing the things that you know need to be done. And it is about always being consistent and expanding your customer base. Your customers are going to be the ones to change your business. Why? Your customers... Your customers are, if they are taken care of very well, are going to be your clubbers, are going to be your hosts, and they are going to be your new teamies. Amber, how do I, how do you know this? Because I've seen it a bajillion times. If you're watching this right now and you have been a customer of mine and then you are now a consultant, that's who I'm talking about. I didn't do anything magical. All I did was say, hey, you're buying Cincy a lot. Why don't you get paid off your purchases? Well, nobody will buy from me. You never know if you never try. Okay? You guys got this. Sorry if I went on a tangent. I just kind of Tasmanian deviled all over the place. But I love y'all so much, and I just want you to know how capable you are. You are so capable to do anything and I know this world is tough I know that there are days where I wake up and I'm just not in the right mindset and that is being human that's being human but if you are not going to cheer for yourself please just listen to me you can do it do it scared when I went to the gym this morning and I posted to you guys what I gave to um, Zane's favorite childcare worker and putting my business cards in my gym, did I want to do that? Absolutely not, but I need to expand my customer base. Point blank period. I didn't want to do it. I did it scared. I listened to my own advice. Do it scared. Do it when you don't feel like and watch the result happen. Okay? So, love you guys. Hope you have a wonderful evening. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.